Hey guys, my name is Delilah and welcome back to my channel where I love to talk about yarn and all of the things that I'm making. So if you're here, then you might like yarn too and you want to see what I'm working on. So let's just get started. I'm going to go by things that I've just been making for pleasure. I don't like to say for pleasure because all, everything that I make is for pleasure. But just things that I'm making that are non-tests. There we go. Non-tests. So the first thing that I did that was a non-test, I made bucket hats for my daughters because it's trending right now. It's what they wanted, so I did it. Um, I found a tutorial on YouTube. Very simple. And I made bucket hats for them. So here's the black a black one that I made for my oldest daughter. I missed a row here in the transition so it doesn't really have a defined like you can't really see the definition from the from the side to the brim but it's okay my daughter loves it anyways and she wears it all the time she loves hats so anytime i can make hats for her that's awesome i made my youngest daughter a blue velvet bucket hat i spoke about this yarn in my hobby lobby yarn haul I got this yarn and a blue one to make a blue bucket hat for myself. So she loves it and I love it. I'm really excited about that. Actually, I'm just gonna wear it. Yeah, let's just wear the bucket hat. So next thing that I'm making, non-test. I found this I think his name is Not Monsters, or that's the name of the book. Not, oh, an end is falling out. <laughs> they can hear you. Okay, I can't remember the name, but he has a book called Not Monsters. I found his page his Etsy in the same weekend that he was running a sell. So he has this book of 12 amigurumi plants and I bought the book. I've just started making them. This one is going to be, he has three plant hangers or three hanging plants, I'm sorry. And this one that I'm making is for the string of pearls. So I'm really excited about this. I love plants. Anywhere I can put plants, I will put them in my house. But you know, it has some dark areas that a plant can't survive. So guess what we're gonna put there? A amigurumi plant. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Here we go. So that's that. Huh. Um, the second thing that I have. Okay, so I needed something very therapeutic. When I was taking a break from testing, I had this urge to just crochet a blanket and it's been such a long time since I've made a blanket and when I did make blankets I used to make them out of chunky yarn so this is the first blanket that I've used worsted weight or this is the first blanket that I'm going to finish in worsted weight let's be real this is it I needed something so therapeutic and I knew that I wanted to use the moss stitch so I had this other pattern in mind and I thought, okay, but I wasn't really excited about it until I saw the Bradley blanket on you on, um, yes, there's a tutorial on YouTube, um, but I saw it on Instagram by Tony Lipsy, T L yarn crafts. And I just didn't buy this yarn specifically for this pattern because I like I said I had another pattern in mind but I didn't want to buy more yarn so I just used what I had and I fell in love when I started working this cream color here it's I don't know how to call it's not speckled it's a variegated yarn it's some I showed this yarn in my Hobby Lobby video as well but when I started working it with this pink yarn, this rosy yarn, I thought, oh my gosh, I was so in love because they complement each other so well. So this is my, my mindless, feel good, therapeutic make. It makes me so happy. The colors make me happy and 
it works up so fast it, using the moss stitch and each stitch each row that I make it just it's easy to get bored with something but not with this one I'm really trying to focus on the positive and be happy and cultivate gratitude <laughs> you know it just makes me happy so it's gonna be a size a throw size I don't know if you can see the width on here but you know it's just gonna be for me and I've already started working the edges so I'm in love I love this so that is a non test that I'm working on the last non test that I'm actively working on is this knit cardigan it's the Cinecardi by Maven Crafted on Instagram. I started this a while back. It was actually my first adult knit garment, but I took a break from it when I had a lot of tests going on. But I recently pulled it back out and I've already completed the yoke. I've done this much in the body and I'm gonna make the cropped version. So probably go about another inch before I work the ribbing. And then we have sleeves. And this also comes with the border that uses shirt rows. I'm a little bit nervous, but I've already practiced, so I think I got it. I don't work on this often, but I do a couple rows here, um, a couple rows every couple days. Um, it's not something that I'm trying to finish very fast. It's just something that I'm enjoying. So there's that for my non-test projects. I have more non-test projects, but. I'm not actively working on them right now, so I'm not gonna show you. These are just the ones that I'm doing when I'm not testing. And then I like to do hats every now and then because it gives you that instant gratification. I can finish a hat in one evening, so it's like something that you can just have right away. Now moving on to tests, I'm gonna show you, here's a completed one, there we go. I did this hat for my oldest daughter. It's a knit beanie. It was one of my, it was one of the beginning, how do you say this? One of my first knit tests for Lady J Crochet. It was actually my, my first and only test for Lady J Crochet as of right now. Um, so it's the Big Sis Beanie. She has so many word beanies available. And when I did not know how to knit, oh, I would just stare at the beanies and think one day, one day. And guess what? That day came. I applied to be a tester. I got it. And this is what I got. My daughter loves it. I currently, I just bought the little sis beanie, so I'm making that for my youngest daughter. My second test that I'm gonna show you is the Flirty and Thriving Top by Stephanie Aaron. I don't know where the frame is or what you can see. It is completed. I just have to add some elastic in the neckline um, how do you call this? Sew in some ends and take the pictures. It's actually due next week, so I have to get the notes written up. I have to um, get everything prepared to send to her, but just really quick, it also uses fingering weight yarn. If you know Stephanie Aaron on Instagram, then you know she is the queen of using fingering weight yarn in her projects. So anytime that I can test for her, I love it because her designs are so well made so well thought out they're just she understands the female body so wonderfully these these projects like she's changing the crochet garment world let me tell you so if you don't know her go check her out by stephanie aaron on instagram so uh there's that really love it the next test that I'm working on is, okay. There's a whole story with this. I'm working on a test for Janine, but um, she, her name is Janine. Her handle on Instagram is W, it's Winnipeg, not, okay, I'm so sorry. It's Winnipeg something, Winnipeg not. I can't remember anyways I feel bad that I can't remember she's actually the first lady that I ever tested for and I love her I keep coming back and applying to her things so she has a book coming out for with 20 crochet sweaters 
and she's having testers for all of them. I am doing the Vintage Moon sweater for her. It uses a bulky five, and I tried so hard to gauge with what I had in my stash. Actually, this was in my stash. So she says, either a bulky five or a heavy worsted. I tried so hard to gauge with the heavy worsted that I had, and I just couldn't neat gauge. I talked about this in my Hobby Lobby yarn haul. Um, so I busted out this velvet yarn because it's a bulky five, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to see if it works. And it did. And I didn't want it to work because I didn't want to use velvet. I love velvet yarn, but I've already made a garment in velvet before. And as much as I loved it, um, it's just not usable. Over time, what I noticed with the stitches, they get pulled. And it's just not, it's not really wearable. So that sweater that I made in velvet, I just use it around the house. So I just figured, you know what? She's allowing us to make any customization that we want on this. So I thought... I'm just going to make myself a comfortable sweater, cropped comfy sweater to be at home with. So that way if the stitches get pulled out, it won't be a big deal. And I know we always say this when we test, we'll make another one, but I'm actually going to make another one because I just love, she has such a great style. So this is a chunky turtleneck sweater. And to be honest, I love it. I'm not a big fan of super chunky things on my body, but this one just works so well. And the turtleneck, her measurements, they're not, it's not a tight turtleneck. It's very loose. It just looks so cute. So here's that. And I'm really happy that I did it in um, velvet after all, because I'm just going to wear it at home. And hopefully the stitches don't get pulled out too much. So that's that test that I'm working on. Uh, I guess that's it. I have other tests that I'm working on. I have two other ones sitting right in front of me, but they have not been started yet. I'm working on a beta tank by Stephanie Aaron and the cro a cropped um, t-shirt for Murphy Made Crochet, Laura over on Instagram. It's her first design and I'm so happy to be a part of it. So maybe I'll show those, not maybe, I will show those in a future video when I have started them but for now that's all that's all that's gonna be it for my whips and my finished products products projects <laughs> thank you guys for being here thank you guys for watching thank you for enjoying um, I'll see you guys in the next one bye